hi this is Kelvin OS welcome to this tutorial today we are going to create a beautiful nice and succulent flyer um, and to tell you my process I just placed in this picture I like to freestyle a lot but the, the reason why I'm doing this more faster is because I've done it already and I'm just trying to recreate what I've done yes so I just use the eyedropper to to pick the color and then try to paint over the picture a little bit to create that kind of gradient feel i didn't want to use the gradient the gradient tool i didn't want to use that i just wanted to create something natural by myself by picking the colors that were existing in the picture already so that is what i'm doing right now now mind you this is a voiceover this is not an actual in the moment thing right now so i stretched it a little bit so to stretch this sometimes you can stretch it all right but sometimes you need to click the alt button to be able to stretch it or the shift yeah so now I'll add my text the text that i use is called anton anton i don't know whether you have heard of it before but it's a very bold text the reason why i use the bold text is because the service is called impact service so therefore i need something bold you know it is impact impact is bold it's strong to me you understand you know means influence to me and influence is big you understand yeah yeah so that's my interpretation and me moving it to the right is just to make it a little more stylized and i think that is how those who designed the flyer earlier did their impact service it's, it's quite beautiful so i had to incorporate that also in my flyer so right now what i'm gonna do is just, just kind of create some kind of glare effect not glare per se but um an emboss yes 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 that that is the word a form of emboss effect on the flyer. so i just create a shape on the text add um a clipping a, a mask a layer mask to the layer and then just use a brush to to reduce the end of the shape so i just just look at how i do it yeah so how i did this was i created a shape i created a clipping mask of that shape and then added a layer mask and then use the brush to to reduce um a portion of the shape right there I hope I'm not saying too much and I hope you understand. <laughs> if you don't, I did my best. Man. I did my best. So now I'll try to add the width. So the thing is, impact service with Reverend Joshua Techi. Yeah, if you want to join, that's fine. Yeah, UPSA, you can join. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> every tuesday <laughs> well maybe the location will change but it's cool it's been a great service has been a great impact in my life like it or not just by the way let's go so yeah i had a rectangle shape and after this i will try to add a gradient effect a gradient color on it so i will try to use maybe some blue and orange or something green just to make it more sp uh, spontaneous spontaneous nothing really nothing changing and try to round up the edges that's how it is so first you have to link the edges first then you round the edges so i did my 102 102 pixels for each edges is the right left and the, mm, the left left <laughs> left top yeah so this is it it's quite easy and i think you can do it so with the every tuesday i change the font with the joshua teaching and the every tuesday i change the font to one strat you know there's a universal font right now everybody wants everybody loves monstrat and i love monstrat too to be frank yeah vice chancellor's complex upsa live and direct yeah if i'm talking too much yeah i like to talk a lot not in person though no no i hate that um yeah so i think from here everything looks cool everything looks kind nice and beautiful yeah and 
it's good to use guides when you design because it helps you align these things in the middle sometimes in your eye in your mind using your your, your free range in your, your own eye to just position things position things don't allow you to make accurate positioning of objects you know in, in the design so using guides helps you a lot me i like to use the middle guide a lot not the the middle guide yes i like to use that this is the vertical guide that is what i like to use a lot so since i have done this design already i'll just go and copy the contact information put it in the folder and then give it a cover a color layer overlay yes a color overlay not the gradient like, oh why did i choose parted as a color overlay yes and change it to black to make it more visible and beautiful as it is yeah and yeah I think that the, the white was out of place this is just an overlay an overlay just to create that sense of um rigidity not not too much so thank you for watching this has been kelvin west please like and subscribe if i added any value to you and your designs thank you bless up and i'll see you in the next tutorial oh, yeah.